doodles sort of add that playful touch that really echoes the feel of the picture. If it was a very serious and emotional picture, uh, it might not be the one that I would draw on, but everybody has their own taste too. That's the thing about scrapbooking, there is no wrong way. So once you've made your border or your frame, and in fact, do it in whatever order feels good. I'm gonna draw my title right on the picture, which is great for some layouts where I don't wanna crowd up the page by adding a title to the page. By adding it on a picture, especially one that has white space on it, I've, I've freed up the white space on my page just to give my eyes a little rest there. Right here, notice the Surf's Up title and how little subtle holes have been created with the paper piercer. I'm gonna show you how that's done. And also right here on this wave, how it just adds visual interest having the holes on the paper piercer outline the design. Okay, first of all, go ahead and grab whatever pattern paper you wanna use. This is my background paper, and this actually is going to be cut out for the wave. The first thing you wanna do is just take your paper um, piercer, and it's really easy. I mean, this is just simple. You just go along the curve or the design. Just add these dots to wherever you want the attention to lie. I don't want to cut right on that line. I'm going to cut right on the outside and just kind of curve it around. One thing to note that when you're using scissors is don't turn the scissors, turn your paper. Notice how I turn the paper. It makes for a smoother edge. Now that we're done with that part and our paper is dry, we're going to move it over to our purple card stock and place it on top. Notice how the edges are curled up a bit? Don't have to worry about that. If you put a little piece of sticky on the back side, you can need to hear that down. <music>